Hey, it's Eric from Slapper Daddy Barbecue. In my first uh, knife video, I talked about the best knives for barbecue. In my second video, I showed you guys uh, different uh, sharpening methods, including mechanical systems, as well as electric knife sharpeners. So in this third video, I'm gonna guys show you guys how to sharpen knives uh, using whetstones. Uh, that's the traditional method uh, of sharpening knives, and I that's my default method today. I have a little sh uh, whetstone set, set up here. Show you guys what we need in terms of all the stones and devices you need. Show you the tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your knives by sharpening on whetstones. So what exactly is a whetstone knife sharpening? Uh, as a rundown, what you do is you get a whetstone like this. They come in different grits and uh, you kind of put your knife at a proper angle and you basically sharpen your knife by drawing your knife back and forth and uh, poking both sides of the knife. And uh, I have here my little setup uh, that I have made for myself. Uh, I can basically get this setup on my kitchen sink. It takes me just about maybe a couple of minutes. What I did was, uh, the first thing I did was uh, I needed a little platform to sharpen on. You can spend $80, $100 on these different platforms, but I am too uh, cost efficient and uh, process efficient, cheap and lazy. So I went to Home Depot and I got myself some scrap wood and uh, made myself a little sharpening station. All it is is just a piece of wood with a couple of uh, kind of brackets here that I put in with stainless steel nails and it fits perfectly on my sink. So when I want to sharpen my knives, all I need to do is take my sharpening uh, station out, just plop it over my sink, put on my little uh, non-skid mat here, put my whetstone like so, and then uh, just turn on the water and wet it, and we're ready to go. So before we get started, uh, I need to talk about kind of the most important uh, component here, which is your whetstone. Uh, there are many kinds of whetstones and uh, you ask a knife sharpening expert what kind of whetstone they use. It's kind of like barbecue, right? There'll be another three hour argument. So it, to save you the three hour argument, uh, I'm not a knife expert, but uh, I've uh, tried the uh, different brands and uh, the three uh, sharpening grit stones that I have is, uh, first of all, the company is jo jo Naniwa Josera, it's from uh, Japan. Uh, these are really good sharpening stones and uh, there are many brands out there and again like I said it's kind of like what brisket is best for barbecue uh, if you talk to a knife sharpening expert they've got many opinions but I know that this works uh, this is a Nani Watch Osera this is a I think a 400 or 800 uh, I use the 1000 and then the 3000 so with these three uh, whetstones I can get my knife to super razor sharp uh, this one is about maybe, I think, $40. Um, this uh, 1000 uh, Nani Sera uh, is, I think, maybe about, what, maybe $70. And then this 3000 stone is about $110, $115. So in addition to these uh, three grits of stone, like so, uh, the other thing you need to get is a leveling stone. So this is the Norton leveling stone. So essentially what happens is when you sharpen your knives over a long time, back and forth, the stone tends to kind of be uneven. So what you do is you buy one of these sharpening stones and then you kind of place it on top and you kind of rub back and forth. And that will basically allow you to flatten your stones. You want to make sure your stones are flat before you start so that there's no uh, little area that has dips or a little bevel on it. Uh, the other additional things you want to get that I found extremely useful that uh, a lot of people will scold me for using is I like these little... Um, plastic uh, angle guides and you can buy a pack of them for not a lot of money just a few bucks uh, but as a beginner knife sharpening person uh, this is what I, I go by because uh, I'm not good enough to be able to hold the knife exactly at a 15 degree angle uh, I use a little guide like so so when I place my knife on the guide it gets me started on the proper angle so when I push the knife back and forth I'm using the proper angle I use a uh, a 15 degree angle which is more common for Japanese knives. Uh, a lot of the knife sharpening that I learned, I learned from my student. His name is Ricky Tran. He runs a YouTube channel called Perfection. So he was my student and uh, after the class I kind of told him that uh, I really don't really know how to use whetstones. So he took me under his wing and he taught me how to do them, how to use whetstones. He actually shot a little video of us spending 90 minutes in the lesson he gave me. 
and he ended up posting the video on his channel unedited so we have two guys sharpening nice for 90 minutes i i wouldn't have imagined anybody would want to see that video but lo and behold, I think that the video now has 20 to 25,000 views. So uh, for those, all you knife nuts out there, you can go watch uh, Ricky's uh, video of um, him teaching me how to sharpen knives. Uh, so today what I'm going to show you is what I've learned from Ricky and a lot of practice back and forth. I know Ricky would frown on Harry when Harry tells him that Harry's using a little knife guy to get started. But uh, I'm a beginner. I don't, don't claim to be a knife expert. The guide has helped me create an edge that is basically razor, razor sharp. The other addition that I have also here is that uh, I've got a, a stropping block. So this is the leather stropping block and this will allow you to get your knives to be hair popping sharp where you can actually shave using it. You put a little bit of a rubbing a gum compound on it. You rub the compound on the stropping block and then you kind of strop your knife to remove the final burrs on the knife and that will make it razor, razor sharp. A couple of things that we have also is this is a cleaning stone. So on a fine grit stone like a 3000, the metal tends to drag onto the stone. So you use one of these things to kind of scrape off the uh, metal. And uh, you also can use uh, something like this, uh, also another cleaning stone. And you can also use these things called rust eraser. So I follow Ricky on his uh, YouTube channel, Perfection. These are some of the tips and tricks that he has taught his viewers. So I've adopted them for my own repertoire for doing whetstone sharpening. So if your knife is very uh, dull, start off with a like a 400 or 800 grit stone. I'm just going to wet it here. This is a color splash and go. The, the simple method is basically to put your knife at a 90 degree angle to the stone. Use your uh, guide to get started so that you can get a hang of what 15 degrees feels like. A pack of guides comes in different angles. You can go at it from 11 all the way to I think 20 degrees. Uh, 15 degrees is kind of my favorite angle. So basically you move your knife back and forth like so. And this is a pretty rough grid. I always go back here and measure my angle. Just make sure that I'm at a 15 degree angle. I'm a beginner, so uh, it's not easy for me to hold it like a, like a professional. Uh, they can hold it at whatever angle they want all day long. But for me, I'm a newbie, so I tend to go back here and measure and keep going. After a couple of rounds of going back and forth, you will develop something called a burr. So now I can feel the burr. So the burr happens on the outside edge because I'm rubbing it this way. The, the metal kind of curves upwards, so you can run your finger, you can see the burr. You can feel it here, nice even burr. So now you flip it over, start on the other end, and start on the other side. Get a couple of rounds of the uh, burr on each side, and then I will switch the uh, grid to the uh, the 1000. Now I'm gonna switch to 1000 here. Same uh, idea. Feel the burr on both sides, and the burr's on the other side now. So I'm gonna place it here, put my thumb here, and uh, finger, hold it down on the heel, and then make sure there's a 15 degree angle, and then move it back and forth. And make sure the angle is good. Feel for the burr. Not yet. A little bit of burr now. A little bit over to the other side. Make sure the angle. So, done a few passes on the uh, 3000 stone. So what I want to try to do is I want to just remove the burr before I move to the 3000. So we're going to finish the 1000 with some gentle strokes here. Finish the stroke here. Feel the burr, it's fairly smooth. Now we move to the uh, 3000 stone. my angles All right here you go a few passes until you can feel uh, just a burr the burr seems to get more uh, fine as you move up in the uh, smoothness of the stone so the 3000 is is a fairly smooth stone some uh, sharp, sharpening experts uh, go up to uh, 5000 up to 8000 10000 stone these stones are not cheap. So 3000 is plenty sharp. The angle measure angle is good. 
And then the other thing also is when you are sharpening, uh, you want to try to use all the surface area on your stone uh, so that uh, the stone doesn't wear out unevenly or wear out prematurely. So I, t I tend to like to move my knife all over the stone so that it uh, has a nice even wear. So now I'm going to try to kind of smoothen out of the burr here. And I'm just dragging gently back and forth to kind of smooth out the burr. Maybe about 10, 20 strokes. And make sure it's okay. You can dry the knife. And let's do a cut test. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strop it now and I'm uh, using this uh, compound to get it to be super sharp. So get some buffing compound on it. So remove any final burrs. This is the polishing step. Polish up the edge. Just a gentle, gentle pressure is enough just to hone the edge. And you apply a little buffing compound before you start. And the cut test. So it's really like razor sharp. And uh, it's now uh, not only slight cut sharp, but push cut sharp. I'm just pushing it through. Uh, so it's gone from slight cut sharp to push cut. So we just hold it and just push it. Just right through like butter. No, no need to, no need to slide it. You know, like before we had to slide it. Now it's so sharp that because of the stropping, we push it and it goes right through. Okay, you know, not that hard to sharpen a knife. Provided you have the right steps and the right equipment and a little bit of practice and a little cheating, uh, you know, little plastic tab here to try to get the angles right. This is a chef knife. Uh, I'm going to sharpen a few of my other knives, so I'll run the video. If you want to continue watching, go ahead and watch. Uh, if not, just turn the video off. I guess you're still watching. I'll show you how we do it. The technique is a little bit different because it's a, got a curved blade. This one, I kind of like make an X, kind of cut an X like this, right? So you go like an X. Like an X, like so. With the three stones and a strapping block, you can get your your boning knife to be really like hair popping razor sharp. I have a lot of knives to sharpen. Uh, all the knives here. I'm heading to Australia on Saturday, heading to Perth to teach a few classes there. It's gonna be a 20 hour flight. So I wanna make sure that uh, when I get on the plane, I take some sharp knives with me. We're going to be cutting a lot of meat up in Australia, uh, maybe cooking some exotic uh, animals that I only found there. And like and subscribe and share the videos. Thanks for watching.